Greetings and salutations, what is up? My name is JJ, and um, I usually don't make videos like this, but uh, Borderlands is one of my favorite games. I played 1, 2, 3, and the, the crap one in space. But um, I loved all of them, and it's one of my favorite shooting games, and um, I just barely found out today that they are creating a movie based on the franchise, and I was excited at first, but uh, let, okay, let's just, just check this out. So this is um, an article on theescapistmagazine.com, and it's the silhouette poses of the characters. And you've got Krieg, Tiny Tina, and apparently Jamie Lee Curtis is playing Patricia Tannis, and Lilith is being played by Kate Blanchett, and Roland is being played by Kevin Hart. And uh, the first thing I see wrong with this silhouette and even the casting, you have Krieg, for some reason, who was a DLC side character in Borderlands 2, which he was an amazing character, but he wasn't one of the main four. And the main characters missing from this is, where's Mordecai? He was the sniper from Borderlands 1, and then also Brick, they're missing. So if they were gonna have Krieg, why don't, where's Maya? You know what I mean? Where's Maya? Where's Salvatore? Where's Atten? And where is my favorite character? Freaking Gage, the Mecromancer. She was the main character that I played when I um, went through Borderlands 2 originally. So, okay, anyways, aside from their missing characters, this is the person playing um, Charles. I'm not even going to attempt to say his last name, but he's playing Sir Hammerlock, which I guess is okay, but I don't know why they didn't, they didn't want to cast him as Roland. Now, I freaking love... Kevin Hart. He's amazing. He's an awesome actor. He's really inspirational and I love his comedy and everything that he does. He's one of my favorite actors and comedians on the entire planet. But I just don't see him as Roland. I mean, Roland was a serious type of character and he was kind of like the voice of reason. Now, I'm not saying Kevin Hart can't pull it off, but I just, I don't know. He's, even when he's trying to be serious, I see him as funny. You know what I mean? So I'll, I'll give him a chance, but I just feel like that was really miscast. Why did they decide to cast Kate Blanchett as the Siren? Now I I love Kate Blanchett too. She was amazing in Lord of the Rings as Gladriel, and I don't think Kate Blanchett is a good fit for Lilith. Just it just seems weird, you know, the casting choice and everything. Now I I don't know people I feel like should have been cast as um, Lilith probably would have been either. One of the number one people would have been Lisa Foyles, who is an actress and who's amazing, and she's already dressed up as a siren, or Felicia Day. Both, I don't know, but she would still be amazing as, you know, as Lilith. My opinion, that's what I think. I don't know. So they've got Kate Blanchett as Lilith. I don't like that. Jack Black as Claptrap is, I, I mean, Jack Black is awesome. Claptrap is funny. But if they were gonna have Jack Black be Claptrap, I feel like maybe Kevin Hart instead of Roland should have been Sir Hammerlock. Because, I don't know, I feel like he could fit a lot more, but Sir Hammerlock has, uh, you know, um, a relationship with, uh, what's his name, with Claptrap, and Jack Black and Kevin Hart were in Jumanji together, and I feel like it, you know, they'd be able to riff off of each other pretty well. And also, this is Sir Hammerlock, and this is Kevin Hart in Jumanji. I don't know. Just, you know, give him the glasses, give him, you know, the the big mustache, the the shy mutton chops or whatever. And, you know, they made Jernina G. Knox. Now, I, I didn't play the DLC, but I believe General Knox was from a DLC in Borderlands 1. So from gameplay footage that I've seen since I've never played the DLC, I thought this character was General Knox. But this is actually Athena. This is General Knox from the game. Of all the characters to have her play as, they are making her play General Knox. Now, I don't care that they're making General Knox. You know, they're gender-bending General Knox. That's fine. I don't care. But I feel like she could have been Moxie. Instead of freaking General Knox, who was a nobody, they could have casted her as Moxie, or since they already have uh, Gina playing Moxie, if they're bringing freaking Krieg from Borderlands 2, have her play freaking Maya. 
the siren you know what i mean bring in other characters and not just you know kind of cherry pick other characters from the game like okay these characters would be cool together especially it's so random that they put krieg from borderlands 2 but not the other main characters and then they also forgot brick and mortica i don't know i'm just all right moving on and then they have um ariana greenblatt i've never heard of her but she is going to play tiny tina which i guess is okay she's a 13 year old actress but i don't know she doesn't give off tiny tina vibes i mean i'd have to see her in the full costume to see but if they're bringing in characters i feel okay this is a picture of maya and ava from borderlands 3. this is the actress who's playing tiny tina i mean look at their face i don't she, she even has the eyebrows once again i'm just not sure she's tiny tina i mean we'll see if she brings the same energy of what they do in the I, okay anyways that was a long rant i don't even know if that made sense at all but all I'm trying to say is that I feel like this movie is miscast and then I found out who the director of the movie was and it's Eli Roth and I I looked him up and the only thing that I know of that he's done is Cabin Fever and Cabin in the Woods and like the house with the clock on the walls he's mostly done weird horror movies and that does not give me any more confidence in this movie being any good and he also gave us pancakes, which, yeah, just is, uh, I, 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 maybe I'll talk over it, so I, maybe I don't want to get copyright stricken or whatever, but yeah, this from Cabin Fever was, I don't know, maybe some people loved it. I, on the one hand, was just like, what in the actual yeah so this person is the guy directing borderlands it's one of my favorite franchises i'm i mean hollywood is horrible with video game movies so i'm i'm just gonna expect borderlands to be awful maybe i'll just try to rest in the fact that i love kevin hart um and i also love jack black they're awesome kate blanchett amazing actress we'll see what they bring to it um I'm still going to watch it, I'm still going to check it out, but I I feel like this is going to be another Resident Evil or another Super Mario Brothers movie, Mortal Kombat, everything else. It's just, whenever Hollywood decides to do something with video games, it always flops. Because they don't, I don't know, I, I feel like they don't, they don't give the proper respect that they've given to comic book movies. You know what I mean? So this movie is probably just going to be... A weird cash grab and they're gonna try and bring people in with all of the you know the known celebrities and everything but yeah that was my rant I'm not happy with the casting and uh, and it, let me know what you think are you excited for the movie how do you feel about the the people that they decided to cast in the roles and uh, yeah let me know your thoughts and anyways please like subscribe and all that good social media jazz and I will be back next time with another video take care you rock God bless Bye.